Okay, next order of business is to get our text to align a little bit nicer with the images, similar to the end result over here. Now, the way to do this is actually pretty simple. I'm actually going to float the images to the left, and as, as a result, that means that the by floating the element to the left, it's going to take it out of the document flow, and then it's going to uh, align the image and the text almost like parallel to each other. So uh, let's go ahead and do just that. Now I am going to, since I'm kind of working with the top and bottom section, I mean I'm off the global styles here, I'm just going to go uh, top section and bottom section down below. Now I split this article up into HTML5 section elements, the top and the bottom section. Um, you know there's still currently a little bit of debate as to the proper usage of the section element, but the section element, it, I think I'm looking at a book right now and it's, it says it's a thematic grouping of content, typically with a heading. Now, you know, from, from what I understand of the spec, this section that I have here, this top portion that has uh, the person's name and some hours and their picture, this is a thematic grouping that I called, uh, what did I call it? Um, the results results source kind of where it's coming from what time it came from the user so I feel that this is the appropriate use of the section element now things always change and what you believe in now could change later so if uh, you know section could also be replaced with a generic div container but I don't know I think it's I think it's good and I stand by that so um, well, let me get to actually floating these guys to the left. So we know that it's just an image, uh, an IMG tag. So at the very least, if I did image and then I did a float left, it's going to float them both. Let's see, that's not it. Here we go. Float them both to the left. Okay. But I need to be a little bit more specific than that, right? Because I can't go floating all the images on the page. So article.fb results and then in there we have okay it's going to be inside of the section and the section let's start with the result source which is the top portion result source dot img and the image also has a, its own class so I'll just really get specific over here so I'm putting img dot from user and now what I should get is okay it changed up a bit. So the only thing getting floated to the left at this point is the very top 50 by 50 pixel image. Okay, I need to make sure that in this float, this bottom section doesn't get, you know, get this, what's happening right now to it, that it's getting all up in there. So uh, before I even do anything else, I'm going to correct that, the bottom section. So article.faceB results section Dot, and what I'm looking for is results description. And what I'm going to add to that is clear both. And then that way, yeah, there we go. So now it, it'll actually just start after the float. Okay, so that looks good. Um, but I still need to make another adjustment because I want that bottom image to also float. I'm just making sure that uh, the reason I didn't just use the IMG and all of the uh, Facebook results is I don't know if there's going to be more imagery coming in so the more specific the better um, so I mean let I'm gonna clean up my target uh, article dot FB results section dot results description then IMG and it's gotta be share picture okay and then I could just add that float element to it like so and great it's also being floated now um, Obviously, this is well, well, actually one more thing rather before I move on. Float left. I'm going to add some padding to these images right to just kind of push the text away. And I'll add it to both elements. And there we go. It kind of pushes them away. Okay. Now I do know that these elements are too close to each other because we need a little vertical spacing between this. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not necessarily going to do it to the image. I kind of, I think I'd rather just target it sessions, uh, section specifically. So uh, more on that to come.